Good evening, droogies, boozers, strumpets, and losers. Uh, if you get that reference, surely you're in your late 30s, early 40s. And you're a metalhead. Uh, I think I'm live. Um, hello, uh, I'm going to watch Life of Brian, which I'm going to put on in a minute. It's on Netflix, so if you want to join in... Uh, I'll give you a few minutes to set it up. I'm going to have a Guinness. Love that sound. All right, plop. Don't go over. Don't you go over. Okay. Um, so, yeah, set it up now. You know, this is for the benefit of those not watching live as well. I don't expect many, if anyone, to... Um, participate in this but this is how i'm doing it i probably won't even be watching much of the film but i will probably react to certain stuff in it i haven't seen this film in a very long time so i don't have any notes this could be a complete disaster because uh, the film lasts one hour and 33 minutes um so i'm stuck here for the duration no matter what so please please join in and Make my life a little bit easier. Um, just going to finish pouring this off. Oh, yes. We are on our second Guinness. I've also been drinking some Malibu, hoping something would hit me so I'd get the uh, a bit of Dutch courage. Or where's rum from? Rum isn't Dutch. I don't know why it's called... Dutch courage, anyway. So, anyway, yes. Uh, I've got a few things. Right, it, it, I'll do the whole setup for the Netflix thing. So, uh, go to Life of Brian, press play, and then rewind it back to zero. Um, I was going to do it another way, but this seems like the best way to do it. And, yes, I know there's a delay, but there's all the same delay as me pressing play. So, when I go three, two, one, go, play, then, you know, it, the delay shouldn't really matter. It's not like a live football game where I'm going to be a minute behind because we're all pressing play together. Or at least, you know, that's how I think it's going to work. So I should um, I should read these out while I let people set up. Another perfectly good Friday ruined. Yes, indeed. It, this could be a really bad Friday for myself. Uh, all right, Ben, have you seen the... Um, have you seen the eight bands added to download? Yes, and I'm disappointed by them. Uh... There is only one there that I know, really, and it's a good one. It's Creeper. Um, I like their... I forget the name of the album, <laughs> but I do like Creeper. I have their first album, actually, on CD, and I think the third album is the one that I really like. It, it's called... Oh, Love, 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 Sex, and the... Sex, Death, and the Infinite Void, I think it's called. Yeah. Uh, Sophie, a female. Uh, according to YouTube, my... Um, Statistics are 100% male viewers. So, Sophie, um, you're an anomaly here. What are you doing here? <laughs> uh, the way you pour your drinks, Ben. It's a Guinness. It's different. Um, and by the way, yes, Sophie, I know who you are. But um, yeah, the um, Guinness, it's the best way to pour it because, um, it, you know, they pour like most of it and then they finish it off later. Well, if you put the can in it, it stops when it gets to a certain amount. And then you let it settle, and then you take the can out, and then it does the rest. It pulls a better pint of Guinness. And that's uh, not coming from me, I don't think. I've, I'm sure I've seen other people do it. I don't know where I picked that up from, actually. Uh, evening, Ben. Hello, Al. I don't know if you're sticking around for this, but I'm just going to press play on this film, because if I don't, then... Um, I might be stuck here for longer than I want to be. <laughs> so I'll stick around after the film if things are going well. If not, it's a it's a it's a good out for me when the film finishes. But for the benefit of those not watching live, at least that way, um, you know, I'm not skipping out on the film. So I'm just gonna do the five second countdown and press play, and you, you'll still be able to hear me and everything. So uh, five, four, three, two, one play so uh, now it's 
there was a buffering for a second. That's great. That's going to go well. Courtney, at work, still so can't stick around. That's fine. Fair enough for long. But thought I'd pop in and say hi. Well, <laughs> anyone that gives me something to read, <laughs> that's awesome. Because, uh, yeah, otherwise it's just going to be me staring at this um, projector for what's name. So, uh, means I'm made to. Okay, so where are we? This should be the name of the show, the live show. Where are we? So when I read the comments, I always say, where are we? It's just a habit that I can't break. Oh, yeah, Courtney, yeah, you're male too. <laughs> Apparently my audience is 100% male, which I know isn't true, but um, I guess um, I, I, I just assumed that maybe uh, most um, females watching were watching on their uh, boyfriend's accounts or something. I don't know. I don't know how it works. James Terry, evening, are you going to download this year? I am. And as I just mentioned a minute ago, I'm kind of disappointed in the lineup. Oh, it's the um, the three wise men. With their gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Or if you're Welsh, Ayr Thys Amir. Ayr being gold. Um, and whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to drink this. Cheers to Easter holidays. I'm not religious, but god damn it, it gives me a few days off work. And boy, do, we, do I need that. Firmly underneath that G, which I didn't know was a thing until recently. The Henry Cap's back, yes, Mark. <laughs> I had to put it on because when I look down, you can see my bald patch, and I don't want to blind everyone with, uh, you know, I'm getting old, dude. By the way, um, <laughs> I'm already getting lost in the film. So, um, I've got a few uh, things, like Easter things. I was in um, Morrison's earlier, and I went to uh, co-op as well. And I've got some weird hot cross buns, <laughs> different flavours, which I'm going to go through later. Um, I'll, I'll talk about what flavours they are later as well, but uh, that I'll get to that uh, a, a little bit later. People are already tuning out. <laughs> oh, well. And I've also got um, this. Ah! Okay, so I have a... This is Malibu infused in chocolate because Easter, right? So there's a whole bar of lint chocolate in there, which um, actually wasn't dissolving fast enough, so I put it on the radiator for a couple of hours this morning. But um, yeah, it looks good. Really nice. I, I made one last year for Bloodstock, and it was pretty good, except the fact I used Kinder Chocolate, and all the white uh, globule bits in the middle just came up, became all slimy and horrible. Uh, oh my god, I can't type. Did you just call me Childs? <laughs> I, I, um, I wrote a message into um, Beard Meets Foods podcast once, and he, and he read it out as Childs Vids. I was like, I didn't think of that when I came up with the name, Child's Vids. <laughs> so yeah, I've got um, Malibu here, because I made the infusion. And I want to know, I'm going to test out later which one's better. This one, the chocolate one, which I know is going to be good. I've kind of had a... Um, well, I didn't try this one, but... Uh, so the Handmade Films bit has just come up. I love uh, Terry Gillingham's... like. Um, animation things at the beginning i was watching a film last night it's a horror film uh, from 1970 called cry of the banshee starring vincent price and um terry gilliam does the opening tiles the anime and they look incredible and i had no idea he he'd been doing stuff like that since early, you know the early 70s uh, i think this came out in 79 uh, it's directed by the other Terry, Terry Jones. Terry Gillingham and Terry Jones were both directing this, and then Gillingham pulled out because he had a hard time, like, directing his mates or whatever. 
But uh, yeah, I love these uh, sequences and this song as well. Grew, grew up to be. Yes, he grew up to be a, a teenager called Brian. I, I haven't seen this film in a long time. Uh, the reason I'm doing this over Netflix as well is, by the way, don't watch this uh, on DVD and expect it to sync up. Remember, DVDs are in 24 frames per second. And um, to uh, counteract that, they speed it up one frame per second. So the DVD will play 4% faster and you'll lose a frame every second. So, um, yeah, you end up like f uh, four or five minutes uh, behind by the end. So uh, if you are streaming, um, watching along, which I doubt anyone is live, but... Um, yeah, maybe somebody is later on, then, yeah, you're better off doing it through Netflix. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to stay in sync for long. Quick fact for you about um, DVDs. They run fast. Hello, Chids. All right, Morgan. How is it on the bird front? You pulled... Oh, my God. Give it up, dude. Give it up. <laughs> no, I'm not going out with anyone. Right? I'm basically asexual at this point. Right, Get over it. You and the other one that keeps uh, going on about. So, Nicola Granton, I remember you. You're from... Oh, Gatton, sorry. You're from Shrewsbury, right? And you've been watching since I did the video on Shrewsbury not long after that. Um, if I remember correctly. Uh, so yeah, that's you're another female too. Uh, if you missed the beginning, it doesn't matter. It's not important. Uh, Sophie must appreciate men that understand music and drinks. Not many out there. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, Ben. I just can't type. Being on the Vault City, I've got one in the fridge which I will drink later. Uh, it's a um, Oswestry. Sorry, that one. Yeah, Oswestry. So not uh, Shrewsbury, Oswestry. Yeah, I was there for the uh, to see the viaduct just before Christmas a couple of years ago. Before I bought this house, um, when I was just travelling around the UK. God damn, I miss that. Travelling around the UK, that is. I want to start doing that again, but um, can't really afford it. So, Yo, Chids, the podcasting... Uh, the, oh, it's Adam. Hey, Adam, how's it going? Uh, I, I don't know how long you're sticking around, but uh, please... Please do, and please contribute. <laughs> Save me. I don't know why I'm doing this. I guess I, I just had nowhere to go on Good Friday, so I thought I'd make it a Good Friday. Oh, um, fun fact. I'm just going to roll off a few things about this film. Uh, so, uh, what's his name? Is it, uh, I've, I've actually written this bit down, uh, if I can find it. Uh, first movie from... Uh, Beatles, George Harrison. Okay, so yeah, he funded the film um, and then from this film started a movie company called, and this was one of the most expensive uh, UK movies of all time to make, like the production uh, costs and all that. So uh, this spawned a production company called Handmade Films, which are responsible for a few good films that I have. Uh, I haven't seen the first one. Uh, but maybe I should have watched this one. The Long Good Friday. Would have made sense to watch that today. Um, the Burning, which is a great horror film. And I don't know if anyone's seen this. I think it's brilliant. Nuns on the Run, starring Robbie Coltrane and Eric Idle. Um, yeah, this is a really good film. They Basically, it's two um, criminals who... Uh, disguise themselves as nuns and stay in a nunnery so they can get away, basically. Um, and uh, th their last film, which I guess I think the company had already changed hands by then, but it still kind of counts, uh, 127 Hours, uh, starring a problematic <laughs> James Franco. Uh, so there you go. I've, I've pretty much uh, shat out all my facts about this film. Um, <laughs> the big nose jokes have started. Uh, 
I don't want to get too lost in this because I haven't seen it in a long time, but uh, <laughs> I just punched a woman. <laughs> it's great. I, I, I guess they didn't swear. I guess this was kind of shocking for 1979, all the swearing and stuff and all the sacrilege. I think they did. Uh, they only opened this in one cinema in London because they knew they were going to get like protests. Uh, this is a very religious country in the 70s. You know, I wouldn't have known. I don't know. I wouldn't have been around. <laughs> I was born in 82. Uh, 127 hours is quality. Yeah, it's a good film. I haven't seen it since it came out, though, because, you know, there's thousands of films here. Like, when am I going to get back around to it? I will at some point, I guess. But um, uh, Nuns on the Run is a classic. It's brilliant, isn't it? I love Nuns on the Run. I saw it as a kid. I love that bit where he sneaks up behind him with a gun and goes, Gotcha, you fucker turns around and it's not him and it's, it's an actual nun uh who are you looking forward to at download oh god avenged i'm interested to know what they're gonna play at uh i'd have to get the lineup up because honestly i i i i try not to look at it because i go so every year anyway i try not to look at the lineup until i'm there so it gives me something to look forward to when I'm there because I get to look and go, oh, my God, these are playing, these are playing. So I try not to look at it too much. I do see it, but, you know, I want to kind of forget it, most of it. But uh, uh, um, the only thing that comes to mind really is Avenged because I'm just curious to know what they're going to play from um, that new album like uh, because it's such a strange album. Um Put Blazing Saddles on. <laughs> I have that. I have that up there. It'll be in the in the B section, obviously, because it's called Blazing Saddles. I've never seen it all the way through. I know um, the farting beans sequence around the fire. Fallout Boy got a feeling they're going to smash it at Downward. Um, I'll be watching... Is it... Uh, is it Fear Factory that's on during Fallout Boy? So I'll be at that, but I'll, I'll probably see the end of Fallout Boy. Can't wait for download. Hopefully, I bump into you for a pick. Love your vlogs, man. There's your pick. Now you can. Yeah, I'll stop and talk to you. I, I chat. I chat to anyone at Download Festival. I love it. It's um. Why am I getting this when I've got half a Guinness left? I should drink the Guinness first, right? Oh, I love this bit. So um, all these all these women go to the stonings, but they're not supposed to be there because um, women don't have any rights, I guess. So they all put, like, fake beards on. <laughs> One of them throws a rock and they go, all right, who threw that? And they all go, she did, she did. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of um, Monty Python gags, uh, if you explain them they actually don't come across that funny but they're performed so well that you can't keep your eyes off it and they are hilarious they really are i've got um so i've got quite a few monty pythons i've got all the movies there's the meaning of life uh the holy grail i've got now for something completely different oh my god i watched this a couple of years ago and there's a scene where John Cleese is in the middle of the street uh, milking a horse that has rubber that has a rubber glove for udders. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? It's such a weird visual. Uh, obviously, Life of Brian, which is on right now. And this, which I've never seen. It's Monty Python Live. It's a Blu-ray. I still haven't watched this yet. I need to get around to it. It's live in New York, is it? Oh, no, it's live in O2 London. So um, I, I should watch that at some point. Uh, people are just leaving in droves now. <laughs> down, I'm down to 14 viewers because I'm talking bollocks. Your center frame is beautif beautifully red, dude. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, I suppose, with the cap and the thing. And Elmo, who, by the way, has batteries in him. I don't know. I don't know if you can hear him, but I give him a good punch. He does laugh. He he likes his abuse. Don't you? Good. 
Good old Elmo. Uh, I love that thing. I bought it for a pound in a charity shop and just thought it's it's funny to be a 40-year-old man owning an Elmo. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? He thinks it's funny. Oh, man. Okay. A lot of MP is in the... Oh, Monty Python. Sorry, I'm so stupid sometimes. A lot of Monty Python is in the delivery and this expression. Yes, yeah, the expressions. Uh, I'm on the... A penny for a leper? A penny for a leper? That's the bit that's on now. And yeah. <laughs> a lot of it is in the delivery. And if you try and explain it, if you're not acting it out exactly like they're acting it out, it's just not going to work. Like, uh, yeah, it's genius in, in its own way. Like, it, it's all in the performance. The gags are so stupid. Uh, do you think any 90s era grunge bands will ever turn up at Download? Um, Not now. No, that is pretty much all set up now, isn't it? I mean, they could... I'd love a grunge year, you know? I'd really like um, Kurt Cobain to come back from the dead and uh, play a show, but that's not going to happen, is it? <laughs> Candygram for Mongo. I don't get it. Sorry, mate. I don't get that one. What's the T-shirt from Lado? Love it. Oh, the uh, bullet for my Valentine. I'm wearing my pyjama trousers, which I bought in Primark last week. Uh, this is one of two that I bought. Um, the uh, Bullet for My Valentine's t-shirts. So I got this one and then and another one. I love them. They're both great. Best Monty Python sketch is the four Yorkshiremen. I don't remember that one. Sorry. Uh, I need to... Uh, rem I, I need to go through all the Monty Python stuff because, yeah, there's... There's too much information in this room. I can't watch everything and absorb everything. Some things get kicked aside. But, uh, yeah, I should get to that, I guess, at some point. Uh... I'm not a Roman mum. <laughs> He's going through Jewish slurs. Uh, he thinks he's Jewish, but he's not. He's Roman. I, I kind of remember that bit. Okay, so I think I'm going to have a shot of the Malibu chocolate. Give it a go. It's kind of cloudy. I should... Um, actually, I'm going to open this up and see if... Um, I've got a Bring Me The Horizon Kool-Aid t-shirt. That's cool. Oh, Wow. That that sound that sounds pretty good actually. I like the Kool Aid um, jar thing. Do you remember in, the, in one? Of, it's one of the first episodes of Family Guy where he jumps through that court wall. Oh yeah, love it. So I'm gonna see if there's any chunks of chocolate still in this, and eat them if there is. Oh, there's a bit of chocolate on that. Mmm. It's made the chocolate all coconutty. I wonder if there's any more in there. Oh, there's quite a bit there, actually. So I'm gonna... I don't know if you can see that. Um, mmm. Coconutty chocolate. It's lint chocolate, too. We don't fuck around here. I'll just finish this. Just get it out of the way. Yeah, I have a Vault City in the fridge. It's a um, strawberry-dipped chocolate... Um, is it pastry sour? I'll drink that in a minute, too. You know, you've got to you've gotta have chocolate because Easter... I 
<laughs> this is the I want to be a woman skit, and they're going through the You want to have babies? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I should um yeah the the screen the screen here is big because it's a projector so um yeah it's right at the other end of the room but it's big enough that I can see it and I can hear it through this but it's not too loud actually I'm kind of speaking kind of loud aren't I I guess I feel bad for the neighbors because these walls are like they're not paper thin but they're old, so they've probably got cavities all through them. That's why we can hear each other. Uh, dear, though, 30 quid for a T-shirt. Oh, what, for the um, Get It Off their website? What, the Bring Me T-shirts? Oh, 30 quid, yeah, I suppose. I think I paid 15 for this, but I've had it for, like, 10 years. I've got so many that... Um, it's hard to like wear them out because I just grab different ones all the time. And um, yeah, sorry to be boring, but can you remind us why you swapped the media room? Uh, so um, yeah, the media room is a bit small and I brought the projector down to watch AEW All In live and have a friend over. And I just thought, the only reason I didn't want the projector down here is because I didn't realize how dark the living room was. But it is really dark in here. Like, I have a curtain by the door. Once that blind is shut, there's no other windows here. There's, there's this, you know, there's the hallway there, but not much light comes through there. And, um, yeah, once I realized how dark it was in here, and the fact that I've got this big wall, and I could put a telly on it, or I could just project you know a screen onto it so that's what i'm doing it's it's great and i could have all my dvds in the living room and um in cases down here it's just better and that's that spare room now i could just put a bed in there simon bond came up to stay a few um a couple of weeks back when we did our live stream he stayed here for the weekend and uh, he slept in that room Slept like a baby, but people do in Wales because of the fresh air. Not that we went out much because it was raining a lot, but um, yeah. I'm going to have a shot of this. I'm going to give it a go. See how it is. Uh-oh. <laughs> Blocked it already. Ah, the chocolate's blocking the fucking thing. I'll get there. I, I'll obviously filter the chocolate out with a cheesecloth. But I just need to fill this up. There we go. It's full. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'll um I'll filter the chocolate out with a cheesecloth before I actually drink it properly, but this is just to try it. Yeah, there's a few bits in it, but um it's very nice. I should compare it, I have a I have a fresh one here, which I'm going to quickly compare it to the actual Malibu. See which one I prefer. <laughs> Do you like ASMR? <laughs> <laughs> Do I sound sexy? Or do I have the sex appeal of a cucumber? A used cucumber. One that's already been digested. Twice. That's horrible. I can't imagine what you were hearing. Because I don't... I can't hear what you're hearing. Um, how's the sound, by the way? Because I did a quick test. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Um, do porn films look better through the projector on the big screen? I wouldn't know, honestly. Um, I have a laptop for that kind of thing. I wouldn't put them on the projector. It's just overkill, really, isn't it? I don't want to come all over the walls. <laughs> uh, 
Nice one for fuck's sakes. I don't know. What, I don't know what's going on here. Oh, I see. Because you did a typo. The DVD shelves do look great. I must say, our cottage are very similar. Yeah, um, I guess uh, the houses there are quite old too. Yeah, I think this was built in the 18th century or late 18th century, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. Laugh for me! <laughs> Sounds okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, do you think Simon had a sneaky ham shank when he stayed up? I mean, it's possible, but it, it'd have to be a very sneaky one because, um, yeah, the walls between the two bedrooms are kind of thin. Um, but um, I doubt. I doubt he needed one. He was only here for a couple of days. Jesus. Uh, I, I, I think, um, yeah, if anything, hanging around me is going to drag any horniness out of you. <laughs> Not drag it out of you as in make you horny as in the complete opposite. I'm like the salt peters of salt peters. Is that a thing? Is that the thing you take to stop yourself from getting horny? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sound is good. Uh, yeah, I was hoping so. Um, but I could check myself, I guess. I don't even know where the headphones are. They're attached here. Oh, where are we already? Are we? Um, how far in are we? Go, we're already 26 minutes into the film. I don't do it again. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. hey, sorry, I don't want to get too lost in this. Simon had a hand hand shandy while watching a film on the projector. Oh, you mean his lotion? Yeah, it was weird that he put that in the living room. I guess he didn't want to leave it in the bathroom for whatever reason, in case he forgot it. So he put it in the living room here. So when I was filming <laughs> us watching Last of... Uh, not last of Nimsy, that was my joke. I keep calling it that now. Nim's Island. Um, when I panned, from, it, just, it was just on the screen. Like, oh, fuck, this lotion's there. That looks so weird. Uh, thought you'd taken a long time finding the bottle in the kitchen. <laughs> He's having a quick wank in the kitchen. Uh, funny thing about that, and I didn't realize that that's the moment I should have realized that our lapel mics weren't working was when he went out there because uh, you couldn't hear him on the stream. I was watching it back. That's when I should have realized that the um, the lapel mics weren't working and uh, the mic on the camera was working. This is my actual mic now. If I mute this, you won't be able to hear me. So, yeah, but um, <clears throat> yeah, we were coming through the microphone on this camera, which is actually pretty good, obviously, because you all heard us fine. But, um, yeah. Did you see Corn live? Uh, at Download last year? Was was it the year before? They were amazing. They get better every time I see them. I'm going to watch them in London uh, in August. Um, I'm looking forward to that. That's going to that's gonna be a good one. The Tasty Caveman. <laughs> That's a cool name. Have you counted your boxer shorts since he stayed over, mate? He never went into my bedroom. Only the one time when um, I was showing him around. I, I had to do a... Well, didn't have to do a video, but uh, somebody... His wife wanted to see the house. And so I did a, like a quick tour thing around. In, in a comedy style, like a Cribs kind of thing. But none of you will see that because... Um, yeah, I just got too much information in it. <laughs> I don't want to dox myself now. Uh... You got any gigs lined up? Well, yeah, uh, like I said, Corn. I might go to Bloodstock on the Saturday before the Corn show. The Corn. Is the Corn show on the Sunday night? I booked a Monday and Tuesday off work. Yeah, so it must be the Sunday night. Uh, yeah, so there's that, there's Download, possibly Bloodstock. I might try another festival. I don't know yet. And um, I'm going to Bellwitch next month. I don't know if any of you have heard of Bellwitch, but um, is Camp Loner any good for first-timers? Yeah, yeah, go there. Uh, it's a good laugh. It's a good hang. Um, I said it in the last video that um, it's a little clicky there, but... 
Like you won't experience it the first year. So you'll be fine. You'll have a great time. Yeah. Either go to Camp Lona, but it doesn't matter where you go really. But um, I'd say I had a really, I Camp Lona is up there in my probably top three uh, downloads um, for like, and but by the time I was going alone, you yeah. So Camp Lona is a great hang because everybody knows that you're there alone, and uh, they're even more like everyone there is chatty anyway, aren't they? So you know it's a piece of piss to like uh, just go up to people and talk because it's a big massive party vibe. Uh, Bellwitch are amazing, yes they are, and uh, I'm going to see them live. Don't forget Bellwitch with your pal Stewie. Oh, it's Booze Bag Barlow's joined the chat. <laughs> Matt, oh, by the way, I filmed, um, I, I've been doing a week vlog, and that's it's not going to go up Tuesday this week. I'm going to put it out Monday because people are off work. So I'm going to put it up Monday instead of Tuesday. So I still need to finish editing it. But yeah, Matt, I did visit Blue Sky, and um, I didn't film much inside, but I did film a bit. But I filmed outside, and I explained the fact that um, you own the place and all that. So um, yeah, if you want to see um your salmon burger that i had <laughs> on a vlog um you will another beer sir another beer sir a beer sir is that from the manchester vlog with me and booze bag when we went to see a, a band and i was pouring a sour beer sir beer sir i was pissed beer sir beer sir Ben, you should come to Kendall calling. Oh my God, I'm blind. Calling festival in July. Kendall, is that in Kendall? I've been to Kendall. It's nice there. Um, I got a hot chocolate from this chocolate place. And uh, actually, there's a vlog. If you go back and look at really early on, there is a vlog of me going to um, the Lake District, and uh, I had a great time. I thought the ending of that vlog just... Um, <laughs> it's funny. To me, it's funny. I'm laughing at myself while watching the end of it because it all centred around me wanting Bluetack to Bluetack my phone to the camera, and it just happened to end with the camera, the Bluetack in the sun kind of melting and the camera going... And me going, with a mouthful of meringue, going, fucking blue tack. <laughs> and I watched it back and it made me laugh. Uh, did you know Loch Ness hold more water than all the lakes in England and Wales put together? What? Loch Ness. Oh, do they? I, I was supposed to go there on my North Coast 500, which I need to re-upload. I did the North Coast 500 and slept in my car. And uh, it, was a, it, was a, it was a great week. But um, unfortunately, I went to see a friend while I was up in Scotland on the uh, last, the second to last day. That it was the last day, pretty much. That evening, I decided, yeah, I need to go back to humanity and start talking to people because I'd spent an entire week on my own. I got a B and B that night, and then that day I met up with um, Keith. His name is, and uh, we met at Downland Festival in twenty ten, and we kept in touch. And uh, he lives, um, it, well, he's moved now, but he lived um, somewhere between John O'Groats and I think Wick. It was called Wick somewhere in Scotland, and uh, he doesn't live there anymore. But he lived there then, and um, I went to visit him. We went to the Weathers and had a pint. And after that, I was just like, yeah, I'm going to go home. <laughs> but I was supposed to visit Loch Ness. Um, that was my next trip there, but I just drove home. It's like a 10-hour drive. It's long, long-ass day. What are the cons of download? Um, the weather sometimes, I'd say the weather is like the biggest con. Um, if, especially if you're going alone, because if it's raining, it's going to make it way more difficult to socialize. And, uh, of course, uh, even though we are like 80, 90% water, we still don't like getting wet, do we? You know, especially if it's pissing down with rain, it's you're probably going to have, a, you know, not as good a time. 
you know, you get covered in mud. But, and if it's too hot also, you just get sunburned and covered in dust. You know, <laughs> so you can't win, really. It's a festival. It's a mess. You just have to get used to it. But, yeah, you you have, uh, I think you got a way better chance if it's sunny, uh, especially if you're going alone. If you're in a group, it's not too bad because you can just um, group up into the guy with the biggest tent or the gal with the biggest tent and just, you know, chat shit and drink and whatever. But if it's sunny, you can, you're out and about, you know, not splashing in the mud and stuff. But, yeah, I suppose that's the only... Um, that's the only con I can think of off the top of my head. There's no, there's not many arseholes there, and no one's there deliberately to be an arsehole. Uh, there are arseholes at home when when they're on their keyboards moaning about the lineup and and all this shit, but they're not arsehole. I am drank the Malibu today. <laughs> it's the Malibu still there. I'm actually um getting pretty drunk pretty quickly because. I'd had a few before. I was, I was drinking this before I even started because I needed the um, needed the motivation because I was like, oh, I can't talk right now. I'm I'm flying through this film. I'm missing scenes. But um, anyway, it's just on in the background as a gimmick. I've forgotten what the chocolate one tastes like. I'm going to have to do two just to... Um, oh... Oh, it's pouring better. There we go. So I'll do these two now, quickly. Damn, that chocolate one is really good. Chocolate coconutty rum. Ah, yeah. I'm definitely making another one of them for Dalon Festival, and now the um, just plain Malibu. Yeah, the chocolate one's definitely better. Definitely. Uh, get a get a um, get a bar of lint chocolate, and um, I'd say leave it about four or five days. It won't dissolve entirely. Just put it on a radiator for a bit, and it pretty much completely all melts. There's still some chocolate in there, but yeah, it's not. You know, most of it's dissolved into. What happened to going sober? Uh, so. What happened to going sober was uh, my friend Steve in one of the vlogs bought me a bottle of something. And at that point, it was like, eh, whatever. It was more of a health thing anyway. I'm getting all Mr. Blobby down here, you know. I'm not used to having a stomach. I'm 41. I should be... The way I eat and drink, the fact that I'm even remotely healthy is ridiculous. Like, I don't deserve to be healthy. There are people out there who watch their diets and all this stuff, right? And they're in poor health. I am in great health for someone who does nothing but eat junk and drinks and just doesn't look after himself very well. I occasionally exercise. I used to cycle quite a bit, so I suppose that helped. But now that that's stopped, now that I'm not half as active, I guess that's why I'm starting to put on a bit of belly uh, plus it's also my age so I need to start looking after myself a little better at some point but yeah I don't deserve to be as healthy as I am and the fact that I am is just like pfft, a miracle really so um yeah I just I just I just I can cut it out I don't need to drink ever oh the biggest dickus this is the best scene of the film <laughs> this is the one that I remember from as a kid Dickus. Dickus. He had a wife, you know. I'm way ahead. <laughs> so his speech impediment, he can't say his R's. He's going, ooh, instead of er. And um, John Cleese just can't understand him. So he's just, just going, oh, no, past 11, sir. He can't understand a word he's saying. <laughs> it's funny. This is a... Great scene, this one. Anyway, um, how heavy are the searches in and around download asking for a friend? <laughs> um, there's been years, uh, I think it was like after that terrorism scare, 
Uh, they actually had guns on them. I got a picture of a police officer with a gun. They had armed police officers there, which was um, weird. Simon doesn't look 40, looks younger. Yeah, because he, he uses that bloody moisturizer all the fucking time. And um, good genetics, I guess. And uh, I don't know. He looks after himself. He goes to the gym. I don't do any of that shit. I'm definitely aging uh, rapidly in the last couple of years. Like, uh, as in, I've gone from somebody who was in his late 30s who looked in his 20s to now looking kind of like a 40-year-old. And I am. I, sp I suppose the beard and the graying doesn't help, but also my face is getting a bit puffy, probably from alcohol and having a poor diet. Doesn't help. <laughs> Chid, you ever played Fortnite? No, I don't have an Xbox, and I, I never will own an Xbox. Uh, this weekend, me, Steve, and Matt are going to play GTA V, probably for the last time. We're going to put that game to bed. We're all going over to Matt's to have a... Um, I think he's cooking, like, a big pork thing. It was Steve's request. Um, like, a big pulled pork thing. We're going to walk down to the pub, go back... Play GTA 5 all night and get pissed and eat food and um, talk about times when our joints didn't hurt and um, <laughs> fun stuff. I'm going to go grab that Vault City, the, um, the chocolate strawberry dip. So we'll be right back. I was as quick as possible. I ran. So I've got a uh, strawberry, a uh, chocolate dipped strawberries, Vault City. Um, I should have really grabbed a clean glass. I guess I'll just finish off this lemon water. Oh, lucky there's no pips in there. Imagine if I choked live on stream. Right. You hear that? You hear it? Laugh for me, you son of a bitch. Good old Elmo. Gah. This smells great, but also sour. It's very jam-like. Jam, 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 jam. Right. Um, at this point, I think we're just abandoning this film, aren't we? <laughs> There's 25 people in here, man. I don't deserve 25 people in a stream at once. But anyway, thanks for watching. Um... Brian just fell off the... Oh, and in a ship just picked him up. <laughs> I don't think it's... If, if you're watching this and you're doing the whole um, joining in with the... Th I bet you're disappointed. Like, why did I even bother putting the film on the same time as him? He's barely talked about it. <laughs> okay, let's go through these. Uh, you can play Fortnite in on PS5 and PC. Yeah, I don't have the time. I've got enough games to go through. I I love playing golf. <laughs> I, I, I'm really good at the golf games, so I, I that's probably why I enjoy them. I've got a ton of games there that I haven't even played yet. I've got, the, uh, I've got two Turtles games. I've got all the um, old arcade ones and the Nintendo one. That's all on one disc. And then I bought the Shredder's Revenge, which I haven't even opened yet. I've got AEW Fight Forever, which I haven't even opened yet, although there's not great reviews about it. Uh, there's there's a few more games there that I really need to get to. Um, GTA Five this weekend is probably the last time we're gonna like properly give it a go. So um, and I bought it for the PS Five just for this occasion. So I own it on PS Three, PS Four, and PS Five. Ridiculous. Uh, but uh, yeah, I have. I, I don't know if you saw my Instagram post earlier. I posted a picture of all the GTA games that I have going back from PlayStation 2 with uh, Grand Theft Auto 3. So I've got all the 3D um, 
versions of GTA that have come out, I think, unless I'm missing one that I'm unaware of. World's greatest metabolism. Not me. Uh, not anymore. I, I've had troubles eating. Just uh, about a few weeks before, I, I don't know how long you've been watching, but um, I was planning on doing a food challenge in this place called Fat Jack's. I went there, and a couple of weeks before then, I, I ate something, and I was like, God, I got really bloated really quickly. What's going on with me? And I, um, I, I didn't do too bad, but I could eat twice as much as that. Like, I used to buy, like, uh, the 16-piece uh, um, bucket meal at KFC, and it came with uh, six fries and a bottle of Pepsi, and I used to sit in the restaurant and eat the whole thing. And it was nothing. Like, I could have eaten more after it. And I was a beanpole when I did that. This this is like in my early 20s. I can't eat half that much now. I, it's something, uh, yeah, I've got IBS or something. I don't know. But uh, it's improving. I'm getting better and I can eat a bit more these days. Speaking of which, I'll probably get to these in a minute. These uh, hot cross buns. So stick around and all that um, buzzword crap that people do on YouTube. I should try this strawberry thing quickly. That is my first... Um, this is my first Vault City of the year. Uh, oh my god. Bruh. Everything's going to my head now, all of a sudden. Just got a slap in the face. Uh, saw your step counts at download vlog, though. 50,000 a day will keep you fit. Yeah, it's not like that now. What am I at now? I'll have a look. So my step count these days. But it was never 50. It was 50,000 for that one day. And I think it was the Saturday at Downland Festival when I was on my own, because that's when I did the most walking. Um, that is pretty much the most I've ever walked. Look at that. My um, my headphone count is, like, loud. You need to turn it down <laughs> every day. It's, like, too goddamn loud. I'm afraid you're just too darn loud. But, um, yeah. So, steps. So, my average steps are... Today, 15,804 steps. My average steps are 16,437. The most steps I've done this week was on March 25th. I did 21,430. A lot of that is done at work. I, I run CNC machines. So you're walking, picking stuff up and... Yeah, that probably helps a bit, but it's not like as physical as I used to be, where I used to do when I did a job that had less hours and not like 11 hours a day. I used to cycle to my other job because it was less hours. So you're cycling there and back every day. I'd be walking in the afternoon because um, I'd have time after work to do so. Now it's like 11 hour shifts and I've got housework to do. Like, you know, I've got to keep this place moderately tidy. I don't want somebody coming over and like, is there a serial killer living here? I mean, it's bad enough. There's so many DVDs and Blu-rays here that it's going to dry up any vagina that walks through that door. But, you know. Um, Chidi's gonna get ya. Chidi's gonna get ya. Chidi's gonna get ya. Do you remember um, the belly's gonna get ya? Billy's gonna get you. Billy's gonna get you. Billy, Billy, Billy. The uh, belly. Uh, was it Adidas? Nike? I can't remember. Just tuned in. What movie are you watching? Uh, Life of Brian. And um, I'm not really watching it. It's just on. Um, what's going on right now? He's trying to hide, I think. From people and now he's going to go to the window and realize oh <laughs> and the yeah anyway <laughs> how come you start work so early 
I start work at uh, five in the morning. Uh, it's five until, oh, sorry, I start at six. Uh, my alarm goes off at five. And on weekends, I go in at five or four, depending how, what time I wake up. I wake up early anyway, dude. So that works out great for me. That's fine. I'm perfectly fine with uh, waking up that early. I, I don't sleep much anyway, so that doesn't bother me at all. But it's the length of time that I'm there for, that's kind of annoying. But um, you get, you, you know, I get, you kind of, because you're running CNC machines, you kind of get to listen to podcasts and listen to YouTube pretty much all day. So I can't complain. It's, I've had worse jobs. I've had better jobs. In fact, uh, I used to work at a bakery. That was probably my favorite job. Was, um, I actually used to make hot cross buns. Nice little segue into this hot cross bun thing. So I'm just going to go over what these are. So I went to Morrison's and um, co-op today. And um, these two, which two now was it? Oh, I, I've got it written down. Sorry, I wrote this down. So I've got extra mature cheddar, which is the flat one. <laughs> They all were flat. I tried to pick the one that was the least flat, but they're all flat as hell. Smells gorgeous, though. It's the best smelling one. Um, this is a orange, chocolate orange hot cross bun. This is a lemon drizzle hot cross bun. And this is a limited edition spicy, spicy, spicy. I'm not pished. I'm not pished. It's a spicy jalapeno chili peppers, bird's eye chili powder, and chili sauce. This one's from Co-op. The lemon drizzle one is from Morrison's. The um, the chocolate orange one is also from Co-op. And the um, extra mature cheddar one is from Morrison's. So I'll start with the lemon drizzle one because I think that's probably going to be the most boring one. I'm just going to shove this in my face hole. I toasted these and put loads of butter on them like a weekend was fucking awful us in the bake. Oh yeah, Mark you used to work with me in the bakery, didn't you? Jack Ellis, savory hot cross buns are lovely. I'll get to them. I'm going to do the sweet ones first. This lemon drizzle one. This is pretty good. I'm going to go in for a second bite. I love lemon. I'm a sucker for lemon. So these come in four packs. So I've got a lot of hot cross buns in the freezer right now. Yeah, 15 hour shifts in that heat. Do you remember our Christmas shift, which was definitely illegal? Me and Mark did a 19 hour shift making rolls. And they do that so you can have a decent break over Christmas. And by decent, I mean three or four days. That's it. Where I work now, I get two weeks off over Christmas, or roughly. Damn, this lemon one's good. I'm going to eat more of it. You know I might eat the whole fucking thing. As far as hot cross buns go, the lemon one's better than the normal one. Um, it's a... I'll give it an 8 out of 10. As a hot cross bun, not as a food in general. So I'm scoring them on hot cross buns alone, not food in general. <sighs> When's the merch dropping? Dude, I wish. I wish I, I knew how to do all that shit. I might, I might look into it at some point. I'm, I'm just eating this whole lemon run. It's nice. <laughs> ah. I 
What's your favorite Doctor Who episode? I don't watch Doctor Who. I've never seen it. Never watched Doctor Who. I bought one recently and thought I'd start collecting them. But I'm starting to think that's a bad idea because there's so many. I don't know, dude. Um, there's too much going on. I don't think I'll ever get around to it. Um, yep, never ever watched an episode of Doctor Who. Ugh. Table's really sticky. It's like being at Weatherspoons here. Motherfucker. Ben the what? Kepler on the mic is making the challenge wank over you reviewing hot cross buns even harder. <laughs> I would buy a shirt. Um, I want to do the, um, you know, the Chids Vids t-shirt in yellow with the red and black, like, scratch writing. That's the shirt I want. And maybe a horse's head on the front, the uh, black horse's head that I have, the Phil Winehouse one. Um, I'd love that to get done, but until I can get it done the way I want it done, and I'll, I'll um, I've got a couple of people I can talk to, but... Um, yeah, it's funds as well because I have to order them, and it's 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 great people saying that they might buy one, but when it actually comes to them buying one, you know, <laughs> that's a different story. I don't want to order, and then you got sizes and all that shit to consider, and female t-shirts apparently. I mean, I I know two females that want to buy, what that apparently would buy a t-shirt. You being the second one, um. Yeah, I'd look into it because I, um, yeah, I'd like I'd like to make a Chids Vids one. But is it cool if I wear one, or is that stupid? I really want to wear. I just like yellow, black, and red. I'm obsessed with those colors. Um, <clears throat> join late, so not sure if the topics come up already. But what do you think about the additional bands? added to the download line up the other day. Uh, I did bring this up really early, but I'll bring it up again. <clears throat> um, meh. Meh as hell, you know? Speaking of meh, there's a bunch of sheep just running on the film right now. Meh. Yeah, uh, Creeper is the only one I know of it. But, um, yeah, this is really designed for a younger audience, this one. And... Um, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I, I'm still one of those hangers-on that will just go regardless of the lineup. You know, at this point, I've seen so many bands because of that festival that it's just like, I only need like four or five bands a day. The rest can be whatever the hell they want. You know, they can put um, Kurt Cobain's shotgun up there and see if that has grown enough. Um, you know, the brain matter that's that was left in his shotgun, maybe that has spawned into a life form that can um, shoot out lyrics and sing. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm riffing here, people. I saw Creeper last night, so excited to see them again. Was that in Liverpool? Uh, were they playing Liverpool? I was talking to um, somebody. I won't name people because... Yeah, but uh, I was talking to somebody, and I think they were going to see them in Liverpool. Brains in the Greenhouse. <laughs> Is that the song I sang at um, Bloodstock? Welcome, Stu, by the way. Um, I don't, don't know if you've just joined now or if you've been in earlier. I'm going to try my second hot cross bun, which is a um, dark chocolate and orange peel hot cross bun. I got a feeling this might be my least favorite or maybe the chili one. But that cheese one smells amazing. I can smell it right now. Mmm. 
Okay, that's really impressive. I wasn't expecting much from the dark chocolate one. Stu, by the way, I made the chocolate Malibu infusion. You know, you did one with bounties. I did it the right way, you fool. Buy a chocolate, sit it on the radio, radio, <laughs> the radio, and put, um, never gonna give you up on, no, on the radiator, and let the chocolate melt for like half hour. Good evening, brother. I only just jumped in. Hope it's been a good stream. Dude, I was, um, I put the film on, and I was like, uh-oh, I'm now trapped here for an hour and a half, but everything seems fine. I don't know, how far am I in? Um, oh, a, a guy butt, guy butt, <laughs> on the film. Nobody will know what I'm talking about, because nobody's uh, synced with me. Oh, we're an hour in to the film. Uh, yeah, I've only got half an hour of the film left, so I guess everything is going good. This is really nice. This is really nice, the chocolate orange uh, hot cross bun. Mmm. Charles Marcus, actually, it matches the 70s mustard bathroom. Right. I'm missing something here now. Man, looks dreadful. I saw your, uh, was it TikTok? Uh, SMTV on TikTok, by the way. Um, he um, he did a version of the Malibu thing that I did at um, Bloodstock, where I stupidly put Kinder chocolate into it, and there was just lumps of the, you know, the white stuff that's in the middle? It just looked like fucking like clumps of sperm in it, it tasted really nice didn't it but it looked disgusting this one is really good it worked out really well look how dark that is it's proper infused but there are slight lumps in it so pouring it is a nightmare like so but okay so but if i if i um take a cheesecloth to it which i will um, yeah, I could take all the lumps out. That is really good. It's way better than Malibu on its own. We did a taste test earlier. I say we. I did a taste test earlier. You're just going to have to believe me on that one. <sighs> I think Ben believes in make do and mend, much like my good self. I'd use it as a dust sheet. Um, what now? Use what as a dust sheet. I um I can't be asked with this house. I can't be asked doing much to it at this point. Um, once once I realised uh, how little visitors you actually get when you when you get older, it's not like I'm in my twenties and people are around every weekend. You know, yeah, let's have a party. You know, it's more like um like this. There's, there's 21 people in my house, but this is all you're seeing. <laughs> it's, it's Elmo, isn't it? You little shit. Elmo. Oh! Brian just showed us his penis. I forgot about this scene. Actually, there's a lot of nudity in this scene. It doesn't... His, isn't his missus naked as well? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're both naked. But anyway, um... Lol, kind of... Kinder eggs... What about Kinder Egg? Oh, no, 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 not the eggs. No, that would have worked out way better because that white, white, that's uh, different. The consistency of that is different. Those uh, Kinder Bars with the white middle, the white middle is like, um, it turns into like really weird spunky jelly type stuff in, in when you mix it with, what's the name? But yeah, it, it, it wasn't great, but it tasted great. It just didn't, it didn't have a good mouth feel. This has a better mouthfeel, and it'll have an even better mouthfeel once I um, cheesecloth all the shit out of it, basically. So I should rate the um, chocolate orange hot cross bun. I'm going to give that an 8 also. Really nice. I've only got the two savoury ones left. 
I'm going to try the chili one. The jalapenos, chili peppers, chili powder, and chili sauce. Hot cross bun from Co-op. It smells spicy. That's, um, that's not promising. As in, uh, because eating spicy stuff at this late at night is probably not the best idea. That is savory as hell. You know what this needs? Um, camembert. You toast this. I'm going to buy a camembert and uh, dip these in the camembert. That's really nice as a savory and spicy. <coughs> yes, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of spicy. Um, this would go really well with camembert cheese. Maybe a bit of jam. Wow. 7 out of 10. That's really good. Next crucifixion. Crucifixion. In the... Uh, I'm lost. I don't remember where we are in this film because uh, it's been so long since I've seen it. All the memorable scenes that I remember, I think have pretty much just passed. I'll never do another watch along. It's pointless because I barely watched the film. Mouthfeel. Yeah, dude. A lot of... Um, if you enjoy your food, mouthfeel is really important. They would be better warm. Yeah, they're all toasted, but yeah, they are obviously cold now. But as you can see, look, there's the cheese one. It's toasted. You can see how toasted. But uh, I'm looking forward to this cheese one. I've got uh, high hopes for this because it smells very cheesy. This one would definitely be better warm. Definitely. Um, this one is like um, McVitie's Cheddars, is it? Kind of tastes like uh, McVitie's Cheddars. Mmm. Try to think whether to give it a seven or an eight out of ten. I think, given this is cheese, and that is a strawberry beer that tastes like jam, I'm going to dip it in the beer. I've got a feeling this will go really well together. Eh. It didn't improve it, but it didn't make it worse either. It's about the same. No, I kind of enjoyed that. My pr my curtain went out of print in the 1920s. Yeah. I am going to replace that. Um, I had to buy a, a black curtain. Doff this place up a bit. The cushions. Talking about these. My Ghostbusters cushion that I bought at Download Festival in 2022. Or my Beetlejuice cushion that I bought in the same place. Pretty cool, aren't they? Fucking expensive also. I think it was 25 quid each. Bloody expensive. But um 
I didn't have a house when I bought them. But now they're finally on the couch where the projector is, where they belong, which was my big idea for them anyway. Just get to sit back, watch a movie. I will guarantee you will not escape. Just reacting to um, the film kind of, Jesus! All of a sudden, the alcohol is just smacking me in the face. I was going to pour more Malibu, forgetting that this is pretty much almost, almost full. What's the volume of this, anyway? Ah, oh, that's... God damn it. That's weak as hell. 4.9. <laughs> Bigger stickers. <laughs> Hail Caesar! I forgot, he has a lisp, too. So you got... Oh, yeah, anyway. Um... So I'm a guess. I'm a, I'm guessing like uh, Stu and Adam fucked off ages ago. They just appeared to say hello so they can get mentioned. <laughs> and Simon Simon is a social bugger. He'll be out. It's Good Friday, so I'm guessing he won't uh, even be here at all. You're not back at work till Tuesday. No, I'm not. Um, tomorrow I'm going for a walk and for a pint with a friend, and uh, I might go to the cinema. To watch a film called Devil something something I forget, and uh, probably raid a couple of charity shops like I usually do on the weekend, and then Sunday, me, Matt, and Steve are meeting up. Um, I might film a vlog for that. I might not. <clears throat> I don't like to invade my mate's privacy either. I got my mention and disappeared. <laughs> I thought you'd watch it again later. I mean, some people have social lives. <clears throat> which is fine. I un I understand people are only sticking around for two minutes. I mean, um, it, both of you actually have got kids, right? Um, you have a daughter, uh, Stu, don't you? And I think Adam has two kids. So, yeah, there's that too. When is the SMTV Chidsvids North Wales vlog happening? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I doubt. He won't even be able to get through the door. He's too tall. You know, bang his head on the fucking ceiling or something. This house is built for smaller people back in the smaller days when people were small. He is the opposite. He's, he should be living in... Um, he should be Danish. Aren't they tall? Me and the wife sat in bed watching. Oh, God. What a horrible thought. Nothing better to do on a <laughs> good Friday. <laughs> but watch me. Talking bollocks. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I don't know why that cracked me up. Ah, oh, what am I doing? Stepping on a ring. Um, I don't know what to have next. I, I got a feeling I should mix this strawberry sour with some chocolate. Oh come on, there's too much chocolate stuck in the thing now. There we go. Oh, so strawberry dipped chocolate. Is it pastry sour? Pastry sour with Malibu and chocolate infusion. Oh my God, that smells incredible. Now, um, the strawberry works but it's too sour to mix with that. It's kind of, some people would really, the aftertaste is great, but that first like initial putting in your mouth thing, my God, that aftertaste really is good actually. I'm gonna, I might have another one. I'm gonna get fucking shit faced on this stream, aren't I? Oh shit, now I'm just making a mess. Oh wow, this is really full. Yeah, that initial... The initial when it goes in your mouth is not very nice, but... The aftertaste after you swallowed it is really nice. I don't know how to describe that at all. It's like nothing I've ever tried. Just got out of work, so I'm back again. Don't know what's good about this Friday. 
but some people are saying it's good. Yeah, um, it's a tough one, I suppose. It depends what you've done all day. At this point, you're just reviewing the day, right? So it's, um, it's 20 past 10. This is the around the time in the evening where you go, God damn, that was a good Friday. Or you're sat there going, this is a shit Friday. I was at work. Ow! I just slapped that phone on my foot. That hurt. Yeah, so it's either you're reviewing the day now at this point. So you either had a good Friday or a bad Friday. If you had a good Friday, you're sitting there going, God damn, this was a good Friday. I guess for me, it was kind of a good Friday. Um, so um, Simon gave me a cold. <laughs> Stop moaning about this. Uh, it's it's completely gone now, but um, I've got this weird. Um, I don't have any symptoms left, but I am uh, leaking this weird neon yellow, um, like sputum that's just secreting out of my nose every now and then. It's so weird. It's like a neon yellow color. So I have some kind of infection. I hope it's not too bad. If I blow my nose, I get, like, neon yellow, like, horrible-looking jelly, and then a bit of blood as well. Uh, it's horrible stuff. Put it this way, I wouldn't go down on anyone, on anyone at the moment, because if I did, I'd leave their fanny uh, like a Petri dish and probably create some kind of new uh, STI, and then I'd be in trouble. I'd be like the guy who shagged the monkey that started AIDS or something. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Do you ever get a proper hangover? Yes. I had a really bad one when Simon came over the other week because we were drinking until about three o'clock in the morning. I got hammered with him. We were, After the stream finished, I got a bottle of wine out. We were drinking shots. Oh, God, it's a mess. Uh, got threatened just before looking up the locking up the shop where I work, and then again by the same people as I walked down. Jesus Christ, really? Down the road, as I'm a key holder. Great Friday. I still have the keys, though. Jesus. Sorry that happened. That kind of shit is fucking. That's what sucks about working in a shop. I've I've worked at a shop and yeah, I've closed up and um, I I haven't had it that bad, but I have had like abuse hurled at me for you know the dumbest shit. Um, yeah, can't imagine that. That sucks, dude. Yeah, man, fucking. Uh, hope you feel safe now <laughs> and not uh, worried about those losers. I can't get that out of my head, Dad. That's angered the fuck out of me. The, pe the people do that shit. It's fucking pathetic. As long as you're not leaking yellow stuff from your bell end, Chids, you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> not in a long time. Uh, trip to the clap clinic otherwise yeah the umbrella test do they they don't need to do that anymore i don't think do they there's other tests they can do um but back in the um back in the early days of having sex life yeah i've had that umbrella test thing it's fucking horrible i can still feel uh that scraping inside yeah anyway great friday for me i just learned how to create my own uh, I can't read that. Homemade S STIs. <laughs> yeah, so you get a cold, right? Go down on a woman, and that's like the Petri dish that starts it all. I don't know, I'm making shit up. Uh, I'm fine, can handle myself quite nicely. What STI you got? <laughs> I, 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 it's the remnants of a cold. I'm... I was just saying that I'm getting this weird, like, um, 
bright yellow sputum coming out. It's such a weird color. It's like fucking Mountain Dew colored, right? And I was just riffing off that, and I ended up calling Fanny's Petri dishes for some reason. <laughs> it's like if I, if I went down or something, it's just a breeding ground, you know? And I might create a new STI somehow through this weird neon yellow phlegm that's coming out of me, uh, breeding inside of... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Jesus Christ. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Clachidia. Nice one. <laughs> St Steve's come up with a great name for it. Clachidia. <laughs> I wish I could be tough like you, Corny. Well done. Uh, that's from Nicola, yeah. Um... Yeah, dude, I don't even, I don't even know, um, yeah, fucking dickheads. That, that angered the fuck out of me reading that, um, don't worry, I haven't made me angry angry, as in, but I'm angry for you for having to go through that shit, it's just fucking ridiculous, that, um, you know, yeah, I, I've had my fair share of abuse back in the day when I used to work at Quicksave, remember Quicksave? Of course you don't. You're too young. Ugh, such an old fuck. I was, um, one of my... My first job after leaving school was Quicksave. And, um, I was working there when September 11th happened. And I was working the, uh... Late shift. It was actually pointless. I was only there for, like, four hours that day. And, um... <clears throat> I remember this guy coming in. It was that day too, and uh, he come up to me with a twenty four pack around his. Can you, uh, can you give me a discount on this? And he was like winking at me. I was like, uh, No, I can't give you a discount on this. Go on, lad. Go on, lad. You give me a discount on this. I can't give you a discount. There's a camera right there. I was just trying to just get the fuck out of it. Just either, either pay full price for it or just leave it here and fuck off kind of thing. Ugh! Working in towns, you know, working in shops in towns. There's always a dickhead, isn't there? Or dickheads, you know. They have the, they have less brain cells than Kurt Cobain's greenhouse. That's the second Kurt Cobain joke of the day. Jesus, why am I picking on Kurt Cobain? That poor bastard. Although, isn't he been dead twenty years this year? Was it ninety four? He committed suicide. Oh my god, that'd be 30 years, Ben. You're such an old bastard. That's 30 years, not 20. <sighs> yep, quick save. Jan <laughs> Gochen. I worked in the one in Carnarvon. Uh I love how we have the juxtaposition of women standing up for themselves against peril, dish, good STI, chlamydia. Dude, um... Yeah, I'm not calling women's vaginas petri dishes. I'm saying that if I went down on one <laughs> with, uh, you know, with an infection, it's like creating a... It's, it'd be the same if someone was sucking my dick. That'd be kind of like a petri dish. A reverse petri dish, I guess. <laughs> but it, it just made sense because it's more dish-like. <laughs> It doesn't make sense. No, it makes sense. I'm not, I'm not fucking hating on women here. I'm not an incel going to something. I, a, a chat I was having in the Discord, actually. Somebody somebody said the next video after my video came up was a video on incels, which is people that <laughs> believe that uh, women aren't attracted to them and they hate women and all this shit. And I was like, oh, my God, if YouTube is suggesting that kind of stuff, after my video, then I really need to stop joking about my sex life and stop making jokes at the expense of women. I'm not Bill Burr. <laughs> Although Bill Burr loves women. He's married to one, but he does a lot of misogynistic type jokes. But he's dead jokes, you know. I'm trying to joke here. I'm not, you know, I'm trying to be funny. I'm not, that's not how I actually feel. It's not my actual opinion. Actually, uh, did... Did he shoot himself in the greenhouse? As Kurt Cobain, yeah, he shot himself in the greenhouse and um, 
yeah, brain matter all over Windows. Not the computer. You know, he didn't just shoot himself. And then... Dun, 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 dun. This is getting dark. I'm getting too dark. I'm trying to be in... I'm being an edgelord here now. Just, like, saying dark shit for the sake of it to try and get a laugh. <laughs> right, brother man. Time to hit the sack. Have a good rest of the stream. Love you, dude. Happy eggy Jesus weekend, everyone. Thanks, Stu. Um, yeah, happy um, sleep to you, I guess. Clonk. I can't reach the camera from here, but I've tried. Um, yeah, did he... Sh uh, oh, I've read that bit. Obviously wasn't happy how the tomatoes were growing. Who? Um... Kurt Cobain, I don't think he was happy with his heroin addiction and happy with his fame. I think that's what <laughs> that's what um, did him in, I guess. He wasn't happy with um, how things were going, I guess. You know? I suppose we've all kind of been there and... <laughs> Why? <laughs> Let's not get serious now. I, yeah, I remember when I stored my computer in the greenhouse... <laughs> Dun, 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 error sounds going everywhere as the gun goes off and rain matter goes all over the windows. I remember quick save. Yeah. <laughs> I've read that one. Oh, Sophie. I, I, can't, I can't believe you've been here pretty much this whole time, right? I think. I think so. Sophie, you've been here since the beginning. Morgan, I think you've been here since the beginning. Um, there's definitely a bunch of people who just shown up for a couple of minutes, which I appreciate. It was a real big help. I am one hour, 26 minutes. There's f six minutes left of this film. I've reviewed fuck all of this film. <laughs> it's the crucifixion scene at the end now. Like, um, off to bed to night chids. Well, thanks for tuning in. Um, it's, I've, I've had a great time. Uh, I am worried that wearing caps gives me headaches. Like, it doesn't matter how loose it is. I, I always thought it was because I had them too tight. Maybe my head just gets too hot. Uh, it's actually quite hot in here. The uh, heating's been on this entire stream. Yeah, after bed, good night, man. Um, Marcus Hunt. Mark Hunt. As in Mark Hunt. It's Mark Hunt. I don't know why I'm riffing off your name, but I just did. Um... Marcus Hunt, thanks for tuning in. Is that a Christmas hat you're wearing there? I hope I'm not too loud. I'm not too loud here. Is that a Christmas hat you're wearing in your profile picture? Oh, yeah, I remember when I... <laughs> I think everyone's leaving now. And uh, this film only has like six minutes left anyway, so I'll probably wrap it up soon also. But, uh, you know, I don't know how this went. I can't remember half of it already. And I'll probably remember it even less tomorrow. So what's people's plans for the uh, Easter holiday then? I'm a 62 year old. You probably the oldest. I God, that I don't mean to sound insulting. You're probably the oldest person watching. Ben and a girl totally get what you mean. Really the petri dish. Really enjoyed the evening. Good crack. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't mean anything nasty by it. I'm not saying that all fannies are Petri dishes. <laughs> it's, it's the only uh, thing I can think of to uh, explain how this weird neon green, uh, yellow stuff coming out of my nose would create a new STI. The only th way I could think of it is, what's a breeding ground for bacteria? A Petri dish. So I'm not going to, yeah, anyway. I'm not going to go down on an actual Petri dish. <laughs> Better review that most of the critics on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> what for Life of Brian? Yes, I'm sure they talked about um Petri fanny Petri dishes and um Oh who cares? I don't even remember what half the stuff I've said at this point. Uh slash tomorrow. Slash? As in I'm gonna get up and have a slash first thing in the morning. Probably with all this alcohol I've had. 
Or are you talking about Slash as in... Um... <laughs> Guns N' Roses slash. Is he playing somewhere in the UK? Or you could be from America for all I know. Ben Saccone. I love that last name. Saccone? Am I saying that correctly? Oh, always look on the bright side of light. Life. Light? Life. I didn't, re I f didn't realize that song was from this film. <whistles> always look on the bright side of life. <whistles> Okay, Elmo's got a smile on his face. Don't know what he's up to behind the sofa. Well, if I punch him, he t tends to enjoy it. I think he's a sadomasochist. So. He enjoys a good punching. I don't know if you can hear his laugh, but... <laughs> What's so funny? That was a bit worrying. That one sounded a bit orgasmic there, uh, Elmo. Hey, I'm barely touching you. Don't you accuse me of stuff. I'm live on YouTube. If You can have me get me in trouble, you know. I'll get cancelled for this. I should stop touching Elmo in case I uh, get accused of anything. For fuck's sakes, Jids. Lol. I don't know what you're referring to. It could be anything in the last hour. But, um, yeah, defo oldest, but love the jokes. I am laughing here. Well, you're from a generation that, um, you know, that that can actually take a joke and appreciate it as a joke. And that's not a knock on any, anybody, by the way. Okay, if you're a young person and you're sensitive, look, I get it. We all go through stages where we think our shit is important. And our shit don't stink. But as you get older, you realize, oh, that shit I was always worried about, that shit wasn't important. And that shit did stink. You know? Uh, it's just a thing. You're just young, okay? You get offended. You try and cancel people for no reason. It's fine. Um, <laughs> you'll get over it. You, you can't arrest people. You shouldn't be able to arrest people for thought crimes, right? Just for thinking... Just for having an opinion, it's stupid. But uh, whatever, I'm waffling. Uh, yeah, that's it, dude. Surname is Italian. I'm from Derby, seeing Slash in Birmingham. Nice! Tomorrow? Wow, Slash is in Birmingham tomorrow. I'm surprised Stu never mentioned that. Boss BDS... Emo. <laughs> oh, BD BDS Elmo. So, um, the film's finished. Uh, there's Lash... Slash... The Slash jokes. Okay. Well, this was fun. Yeah. I, uh, think I should, um... Quit while I'm ahead. The film's finished. Um, apologies for anyone who actually sync the film along with me because <laughs> I barely commented on the entire film and I missed pretty much all the scenes um, I'm going to call it a night too guys um, and finish this drink off and um, snort whatever drink is left on here thanks for joining me see you in the next one brap or whatever Simon says on the end of his videos <laughs>